how cool. Every single day. Pink Love's doing today. I hope great. So I'm back with another Dollar Tree haul. Y'all know how much I love the Dollar Tree. So this is no surprise. I'm doing another Dollar Tree haul. Um, so let's just like get right into it. Um, this is uh, a few items that I've gotten from the Dollar Tree over like two, two or three uh, trips. Just running there real quick to pick up a few things and um, came out with a lot more. All right. So first, um, I picked up some more of these lashes. I have these on right now. So here they go. This is what they look like. Um, I just got through recording a um, how to apply your lashes early. early. So that should be uploaded um, probably before this video or maybe after this video. I'm not sure. We'll see. Um, and if it's already uploaded, then I'll put a link to it or I'll put it in the description box. Y'all know I'm always browsing the books when I go to the Dollar Tree because I think it's so awesome to be able to find a book to read for a dollar like it doesn't get any better than that and this one is called what the dead leave behind it's a gilded age mystery it's by rosemary simpson um this is not really my genre genre is that how you said of books but my mom loves books um that are even movies she loves watching stuff that's set in like um um back in time or whatever so this seemed like something from what i could uh from what i could tell that she would uh, really enjoy like it says as the great blizzard of 1888 cripples the vast uh, machinery machinery that is new york city um that there just saying that it was like something of 1888 i just like it might be something she's interested in in this mystery so i picked this up for her if you read this book go ahead and leave me a comment in the comment section down below and let me know what you think about it um my mom will probably read it, so she'll uh, she'll know. So go ahead and leave her a comment and let us know if you thought it was a good book or not. Um, and then be on the lookout for me and my mommy. We're going to be uh, uploading on our channel. So that's going to be called, um, the channel's going to be called Lena V. We've already got it kind of set up or whatever. Well, there's nothing uploaded over there, but uh, go ahead and look in the description box for a link. And go ahead and start subscribing because you ain't going to want to miss it. Okay. Like I picked these up from the Dollar Tree. Um, so far, so good. I bought them because I thought I had lost my Wonder Woman uh, earbuds, but I found them. They were just in my car. So these are back up now. Then I picked up some um, cereal. Like, I was surprised to see this um, name brand cereal in the Dollar Tree. This is birthday cake flavor cookie crisp cereal. It's a limited edition. So I picked up uh, one box of these, and they seem to like it. My children seem to like it so far, so good. King seems to like it more than the others, but anyways, I got that. It's empty because I've already filled up my cereal containers. Remember the cereal containers that I got from the Dollar Tree a few months back? So I'm finally putting them to use. And then I got the Cocoa Puffs Ice Cream Scoops. Now, these are actually really good. Like, I like these too. The kids like them. They're good dry and with milk. So this is a... Uh, box because uh, I mean this box is full because after we got the first box and we like smashed the first box I was like if I see him again I'm gonna get another box so we got another box so we can smash this box too you know? okay and then I had got some um 100 grand um candy bars you get six in the pack so I already ate all of those up <laughs> then um, oh, I got some goggles. The kids are going to be taking some type of swim safety classes through their um, school. So they needed some goggles. So I only got one. But the good thing is one week Kingston does his and then the next week Vivica does hers. So they just have to share these. Um, I got some pumpkin spice um, air freshener. Some Play-Doh. I mean, not Kingston. Dominic really wanted some Play-Doh. So we got some Play-Doh. We've already opened it. He's already been playing with it. And he got red and yellow. And it was cool because this is like crazy art. I believe that's a name brand if I'm not mistaken. Okay, maybe it's not a crazy. No, it says manufactured by Dollar Tree. So anyways, it's darn close. So we got that. It works just as well as regular Play-Doh. And then I got him some of the Play-Doh um, little, you know, cut cutters and stuff to manipulate. And he really enjoyed that. So you get all of those for a dollar. Like what? And then picked up some allergy relief 
um, tablets, and this is supposed to be uh, comparable to Benadryl. So you get 36 tablets for a dollar, which I felt like was a really good deal. Um, so it's supposed to be for sneezing, running nose, itchy throat, itchy, watery eyes, and all that good stuff. Um, they usually have them in the liquid form, but I didn't see it at the Dollar Tree that I went to. And um, I got these because Kingston's allergies are really bad right now. As though sometimes at this time of year, everybody's allergies get to acting up. And he was able, the pill's really small, and he was able to take it with no problem. Um, it says adults and children 12 years and over take one to two tablets, and children 6 to under 12 years old take one tablet. And he took one tablet, and he it helped him so much last night because on um, previous nights, he was having a hard time sleeping. He, you know, just constantly... Um, making this um, weird noise like where he's like scratching his throat and his nose was constantly running he took one of these before bed and he slept so peaceful and he was so he was in such in in a much better mood this morning when he woke up so um these do work so be sure to give them a try um and then uh let's see oh here's what the um those earbuds i show you this is the packaging that they came in and they come in other colors. And I picked up some of this um, soap right here. It smells so good. It's um, Yardley. I believe that's how you pronounce it. So they sell this same um, brand of soap at Walmart for $5.99. I'm looking at it right here on my phone. Um, the lavender one is the first one that came up. And at Walmart, it sells for $5.99. I don't know if that's $5.99 for a bar, though. I need to go click on that and see. Well, I see one that's come up Yardley, London, Oatmeal, and Almond. Um, it's two forty seven for a pack of three bars. Um, so that's actually a good deal. But if you've never used it and you want to make sure it works for you, spending one dollar is a good. And then I don't know what size those bars are, but you know what? This smells really good. So I was happy to try this. And this one says it's for sensitive skin. And since I knew I was going to be getting the soap, I went ahead and picked up this right here. It's called a soap saver. These things right here, um, I've seen some of these in Marshalls and Ross. And I think even, I don't know, I think I've seen it in Walmart. But I don't know how much they were at Walmart. So I'll have to look that up. But let's look it up now. So we can see we're really getting some good deals here at the Dollar Tree. But I did see these at, um, at Marshalls and TJ Maxx. And they're definitely way more than a dollar. So they're called soap savers. So they have them at Bed Bath & Beyond for $1.99. Um, so I would say, yeah, this is a win. And I, like I said, I've seen them at Marshall's for like so much more. Let's see how much this one comes up at Walmart. Okay, at Walmart, they're $1.97. Oh wait, no, nope, that's not the same one. No, the one that's like that looks like this one, it's four sixty six. But it says it's sold and shipped by supply the sold and shipped by supply the home. Okay, and we got four twenty one. So basically, I feel like this definitely is a good deal. So if you see these, um, pick them up, and you probably like what's so special about that soap safe versus just like. Just a regular soap dish. Well, let me show you. So the way it's made, like, you see how it has these holes in it? Well, that means when you sit your soap on it, after you've used it, and you know, your soap is all wet and icky. And, like, if you just sit your soap, like, on this a dish, um, like a regular dish or just on the side of the tub, you know how it gets all, like, like gooey and just like yucky and stuff well when you sit it on this like this like this and it's um after it's been wet the air can get through there and dry it and then it doesn't get all like sticky and icky so oh y'all can't wait to take a bath with that soap it smells so good so that's what the soap saver does in case you didn't know and then i also picked up some of this from the dollar tree it's the um I don't even know how you pronounce this stuff. Like, I don't even know it. I don't even want to butcher it. But, y'all, I'm bad at pronouncing stuff. But I like to get this stuff to put on, like, my pineapples and watermelon, like, on my fruit. I know some people use it to rim their glasses for margaritas and for taking shots and stuff like that. So, I'll pick this up at the Dollar Tree. Um, so, yeah. I've never seen it at the Dollar Tree before. And then I also picked up some baby wipes. I like having baby wipes in my car. 
Um, like when I'm, you know, getting something to eat, my hands get sticky. I can wipe my hands off, so I got some baby wipes for that. And they also sometimes work to help you remove your makeup, and you know the kids use them too sometimes. Like if we, like when I realize we we, we uh almost at the school, and I look back there and be like, I thought you said you washed your face. It don't look like it, you know what I'm saying? It got the little dried up spit or toothpaste or whatever. And you know the old school mommy and me, you know what I'm saying? I just be want to go, you know, wipe their face off, but. Yeah, that's kind of gross. And I used to hate when my mom or well, my mom never did it to me, but my grandmother, like on my dad's side, she used to do that to me, and I used to hate it. So I figured I wouldn't do my kids like that. So I also keep baby wipes in my car for that reason too, so they can just like if they miss something, they can clean their face or whatever. And then what else we got here? Oh, I got me some of this trail mix. This is the indulgent, indulgent. That's how you say it, trail mix. I haven't had this in a while, but these are so, so good. Um, I think I've called this before. It's been a while ago, though. But it has a blend of peanuts, raisins, chocolate-flavored chips, white drops, peanut butter-flavored drops, and almonds. Yum. So that's good. And so since I'm trying to get back on track with my weight loss, because I definitely have fell off this summer but you guys know that I wasn't living in my own space. And da, 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 which I keep saying I'm going to go into more detail and I still haven't did it yet. It's just that I have to sit down and like, I don't know, like get all my thoughts together. Like, where do I start and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. But anyways. So, trail mix is a good snack when you kind of want something sweet and you don't want to like, um, like indulge in a whole bunch of candy. Um, Maybe that's why they call that indulging. Anyways, so it's really good. So anyway, then I picked up two of these. You guys heard me rave about this, and I had bought the one, and it took me forever to try. And then once I tried it and figured out that I really, really did like it, um, I was looking for more. I couldn't find it, and lo and behold, I wasn't even looking. Just happened to see it. Um, they have this lusty shea butter edge gel, stronghold. I love it so much because it doesn't flake flake up in my hair. Um, like, and I use it for more than just my edges. I like actually use it to slick all my hair in a ponytail and it does a nice hold. It says a strong hold, but it's not a hard hold. Like it doesn't leave your hair hard and crusty. Um, and for some reason, I think I've said this before, you know, the eco styler gel that a lot of people use, um, it just never worked for me. Like every time I used it, my hair would be like flaky. It looked like somebody poured Elmer's glue in my head and it dried. And then it was just like all flaky. Like I just could not do the Eco Styler Edge Control Gel. I don't care which one I tried. The one in the green jar, the yellow one with the red top. It did not matter. It just not work for me. So this, this works for me. So I bought two. They only had like five on the shelf and I really want to buy all five of them. But I figured I wouldn't be greedy like that because I'm sure there's other people out there that wants to give it a try. And um, the other gel that works for me that I don't get from Dollar Tree is Let's Jam. So anyway, so if you see that, I highly recommend it. And then last and certainly not least, I got me two a beautiful and can I say beautiful glass bows. These are so, so nice, heavy, and very sturdy. And I cannot wait to pour me up a bowl of Captain Crunch cereal and eat it. You know, the Captain Crunch cereal really important in my, uh, you know, meal plan. But I'm going to indulge in some Captain Crunch cereal as my guilty pleasure this weekend. And then I'll also be making me some scrumptious, yummy salads in this bowl. I feel like when you have pretty... um dishware to put your um, food in. I feel like it just makes it more enjoyable. That's just my opinion. I love the, I just love the clear bowls. Um, I'm probably going to get more, but right now I just bought two. They have the clear plates, which I think are also awesome. But when I got the bowls, they had like only three plates and they all were kind of like chipped or like they all had like some kind of something wrong with it. So I'm just going to be on the lookout for getting those. And then I bought me one mug to see if I like it. And I think I'm going to at least buy two. I think I should at least have two of everything um, for like me and like, you know what I'm saying, a future boyfriend or husband or even my mom or my best friend. You know what I'm saying? So 
These are cute. If you think these glass bowls are cute, go ahead and leave me a bowl emoji down in the comment section down below. And that's all I have for now. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Dollar Tree haul um, as much as I enjoy doing it. I love doing Dollar Tree hauls because I love finding new stuff. And it's just amazing that as much as you go into the Dollar Tree, there's always something new to buy. It never fails. They always get something new to buy. They are. They don't always have the same thing as far as maybe something you've bought in the past. But I'd be like, how in the world? Dollar Tree has come a long way. So thank you, Dollar Tree, for you know keeping up with the times. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not already a subscriber, be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for being part of the Pink Love family. And be sure to follow me on all my other social media outlets. Be sure to share this video also. If you're not following me over on the Royal Family channel, go ahead and follow. Um, look in the description box for a link to it. That's where... I do all my vlogs over there, and you'll get to see me definitely like when I'm just being the regular on me, not all made up. And I mean, like I say, I'm all made up, but you know what I'm saying? Just like just me and mommy mode. Um, basically, just a lot of vlogging. And what else do I want to tell you guys? Um, I guess that's it. So um, yeah, until next time, stay you, stay beautiful, and stay unique. Bye guys. Wise words being quoted, beat the weakness in the rap game and sold it. Bow down, pray to God, hoping that he's listening.